I have always been fascinated by the aesthetics of 3D exploration games. They allow you to visualize the world in a pleasing way. Inspired by the exploration games like Firewatch and Firewatch because that's an amazing game. <laughs> I decided to make my own 3D exploration game. So before booting up Unity, I wanted to decide the art style of the game. This was an extremely important decision as it decides how the game will be designed from the bottom up. I decided to go with a low poly style like Firewatch because it gives the game a toned look and allows you to cheat realism and show things that wouldn't be possible in realistic games. With a little help from my dad, I came up with this initial sketch. It shows a camp on a small plateau, a river running on the ground, and some nice trees. I liked the sketch so much that I decided to make the environment a camping ground. I came up with the general storyline of the game and booted up Unity. I started out by creating a flat terrain and slowly building the landscape of the map. I learned a lot about terrain landscaping, placing trees and details in Unity from this video. It was made by Thomas Brush, I'm the creator of a game called Mumsong. <laughs> I had to make that joke. That was hilarious. Seriously, go check out Thomas Brush. He is awesome. Now all that's left is creating some nice terrain. Nope. You think I'm done? It takes so much goddamn time to make terrain. <sighs> the point is, making terrain is really easy, but it takes a lot of time. You need to make the terrain feel real and geographically correct which is why having reference images always helps. I wanted the game to be a first-person experience, so I set up a nice first-person controller with the help of Bracky's video. And voila! Our player is done. Now the environment looks kind of boring, so I wanted to make the environment look much better with textures and details and trees and stuff. So you know how you spend days, weeks, working on 3D models and textures and all that stuff. Uh, we, we don't do that. I found this great asset pack which had everything I needed to make the environment. But that's all for today. I'll show the result of the environment in the next devlog. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it and if you want to see the next devlog, like and subscribe. You'll get notified about the next one. See ya. Oh, you're still watching?